We hope everyone is safe after the storm swept through Illinois this week, and our thoughts and prayers go out to those in the Ottawa area uh, as well. Uh, this week, uh, we're going to talk about some things that really impact uh, the, your, your legal structure in your practice. Uh, and this is a question that comes up on a regular basis, usually at the end of the year, at the beginning of a calendar year. However, uh, we're seeing this, this come up a bit more frequently lately. So there's only four different legal structures that you can have uh, in, in your practice. And that is, you can be a sole proprietor. Uh, you can be a medical corporation, you can be a professional service corporation. By the way, those are completely different than just a standard corporation. Uh, so sole proprietor, medical corporation, professional service corporation, or a limited liability company. I'm going to touch base on just a few of the aspects with these. Uh, know that if you are not structured properly, it is not a terrible thing to, to, to make the correct modifications uh, unless you have the wrong ownership and then you have a bigger issue. Uh, all of those structures are actually required to be registered with the Illinois Department of Financial Professional Regulation. So if you are incorporated or you're a limited liability company, you must regis register with IDFPR and that has to happen every single year. Uh, so if you are not certain if you're properly registered with IDFPR, then there's probably a good chance that you're not. Uh, so very quickly, a medical corporation is going to be someone who is actually licensed. All the owners must be licensed under the Medical Practice Act. Uh, so that's DCDO uh, or, or MD. Now a a, a professional service corporation opens up a little bit more uh, of the types of healthcare professionals that you could work with. And so it's licensed under the Medical Practice Act, uh, but it also includes uh, structures that would include a podiatrist, a dentists, and optometrists. Um, and and that, some of that has changed really in the last uh, 10 years or so uh, as that's opened up to allow you to practice with dentists, if you will. Um, and, and we do have a few members that have practices that are established like that. Um, now, the other entity that I mentioned was limited liability companies. And those, uh, again, have very specific requirements as well. And, and the limited liability company, uh, either all of the principles have to be uh, licensed under the Medical Practice Act, um, a, uh, it, one of the entities could be a registered medical corporation. Uh, it could be a registered uh, professional corporation of physicians licensed to practice medical un uh, medicine under the uh, uh, Medical Practice Act of 1987. Or the last could be that you could have a, an LLC that meets any of those previous uh, qualifications also be one of the principles. Uh, but at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you are structured properly because you are required to be licensed. And uh, uh, you want to make sure that you are protecting all of your assets, that you're protecting yourself against uh, claims that may, that may be made by uh, the public, may be made by the Illinois Department of Financial and Professional Regulation, by the Secretary of State, um, or, or forbid that, uh, uh, that, uh, that, that a claim is made by an insurance company who has paid you funds under one of those uh, uh, you know, or, or a structure that isn't necessarily uh, proper. And so you want to make sure that you're structured correctly. If you run into any questions as you kind of examine uh, your proper business structure in your office and you want to give us a call, please do so. We can have a conversation, uh, figure out where to point you if you have to make change, and we'll talk to you next week. Take care.